Okay, and now very, very briefly, um, I want to talk a little bit about Notorious. Uh, so Bernard and I, we've been working with each other for a couple of years now, and without going into the details of sort of the history of, of those two projects, uh, everything started in a research project uh, funded by the EU, and uh, that was sort of the common source for both MapHub and the other project called Notorious. So this is basically what we salvaged from the prototype that we built then. And uh, Annotorius is a library, so it's not an annotation system, but it's a library which allows you to build your own annotation mashups. And you can embed sort of similar annotation functionality into your own, co in, into your own website. So that was the idea behind Annotorius as a second spin off of, the, of this original open source uh, tool that we built as part of the Europeana Connect project. So as I said, uh, it's not a tool, it's a library. So it adds annotation functionality to existing pages and it's an ongoing open source project. It's on GitHub, I'm going to show the URL in the end. Uh, it's LGPL licensed, so that means it's also safe to use for commercial projects, non-commercial projects, whatever. And it doesn't really have that many features attached to it, but uh, the focus was here to make it simple to, to include it in, an, in a web page. So basically what you need to do is uh, Oh, sorry. <laughs> Basically, what you need to do is um, you just add uh, a style sheet, you add the JavaScript file, and then you don't even need to write your own JavaScript code to make p images annotatable, but you just use, uh, so there's a shortcut. You add a custom CSS class, and when the page loads, Annotorious itself uh, scans the page for, for pages that were sort of annotated with this class and makes them annotatable. And what happens then is you get a little drawing tool, and I have a short screencast. So as I said, nothing too fancy, but uh, with minimum effort, you get a little drawing tool, gets, you get a pop-up box, you can uh, start to write your free text annotations, and uh, yeah, save it. And of course, you also get things like a hover pop-up, you can edit an existing annotation, you can delete it. So that's a bare minimum thing uh, with minimum effort from the side of the developer. Uh, also, as you saw in, uh, in MapHub, you can also do polygon selections. That's a bit of an alpha feature and you don't really find documentation on that yet. So it's not 100% ready for prime time. But again, uh, it's gonna be one of the next releases. Uh, simple polygon drawing tool. And again, you don't need to actually write your own JavaScript on your own page to do it. You just mark your images annotatable and you get this feature. Yeah, so in one of the next releases, not necessarily the next release. Because the next one is probably going to be focused on zoomable images, uh, which is uh, also a key feature for, for maps. So you can have those zoomable images and uh, the annotation attaches to the zoomable image. So what else is in there? Uh, as I said, uh, it's an, it's a, it has a JavaScript API to build your own mashups. Uh, it has a plugin framework so you can extend Annotorious. Of course, being a library, it's uh, by, by definition embeddable, so there's also things like uh, code that embeds Annotorious seamlessly into Annotator, for example. Also, there's a, a WordPress uh, plugin uh, ca coming up really soon. And also, we're looking into extending it to support other media types. Uh, as I said, zoomable images, but potentially also audio would be interesting. Yeah, so that's it. Uh, by all means, uh, visit us. Uh, we are both on GitHub with MapHub as well as Anotorius. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs>